crime called Detective Jess. <laughs> That's the new name I like of the show. That. That's the I... new name of the show. You and Jeff are detectives. <laughs> All right. I've always had this gift. <laughs> Trust me. With Inspector Gadget music. Yeah, right? Detectives <laughs> all around. Because <laughs> listen, last week, and welcome to the Tribe Called Jess, everyone. Yes, That's welcome a... to a Tribe Called Jess. Fourth, what a week. Fourth episode. <laughs> Lots of things happened in seven days. And it's a probably lot. a little longer seven days. I guess it was be eight days now, right? Yeah, we did I missed episode. you guys. Yeah, yeah, right? So, um, <laughs> so uh, over the eight days of... Uh, of not doing a show, really just the seventh or eighth day, uh, a lot of things have happened. A lot's happened. I know at the end of our last show, at the end of our last show, uh, we were talking about uh, cyber crushes. We were? We were talking about cyber crushes. Nothing has changed in my world. Don't <laughs> no, worry. So <laughs> things have a little, changed a little bit in my world. A little bit. <laughs> and and um, I don't know how you did it. Because at first I didn't change over, I didn't change over my friends because Jeff advised me during the show that my friends were not public. Okay, I did go in and make all of my friends public. Now there's five, I, I think it's four thousand nine hundred and ninety six. So it's it's basically five thousand friends on there. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know how you did it, but out of the blue, the cyber crush hits me up. <laughs> it hits me up, right? So I'm guessing. What did she say? I'm guessing you two. First of all, the title. I don't know who decided. I don't know if Jeff. That uh, was your wait, idea. Wait, can I just say this real quick? Because <laughs> the title I'm of the like, show. Anybody, you know this. Yeah. Jeff knows this. When you get home, I wait and I I panic a little and I'm like, okay, I'm going to listen to the show back before mm -hmm. I go to bed right. and then decide yeah. how bad this is going to be tomorrow. And I see the title and I'm like. Not sending this one to yeah, dad tonight. Right. Normally, I go into mom and dad, right? Dad, and I see finger in the butt, and I'm like, <laughs> this could either go really badly because the people that know us mm -hmm. already know, like, that you could just take a finger in the butt and no. the yes, that, that's exactly what they know. No, Jeff, they they're like, oh, it's it's funny. Everybody the people that, that don't yeah. know, well, we know you put it out yeah. there. You so finger so in the listen. Butt. Producer Jeff is here. Engineer Scott is here. Yes. Two point They're all with us here this evening. So anyway, the title of the show, uh, I guess, threw off the cyber crush a little bit because she was like, I'm afraid to open this. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I guess you sent her. A <laughs> I'm afraid like it's uh, I was afraid like to open it and yeah. I knew what we said. <laughs> right. So then she goes, is this real? And I was like, because now you're like, how to just find the right person. And, and I could have gone. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, don't worry about it. You know, it's, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know, Jess. Oh, I don't really? Know Jeff, yeah, I yeah, okay. I could have just blown it all <laughs> off and, and not made a big deal about it. But I was like, I felt like uh, I was caught. Like, you know, like when you're a little kid and you're at 7-Eleven. <laughs> you're cookie jar. Yeah, I just took the Reese's, you, you know. Took the Reese's. Yeah, and the mom made you go put it back. Yeah. That's, I felt like I got caught. I'm just a really good detective. Yeah, I know. I know social media inside and out. Yeah. They'll leave it to me. If you give me enough information, and you gave us a lot of information. Well, it's not like, and here's, and the, here's the second thing. She, I actually, I messaged her. So I went Did back. Did she tell you that? Yeah. Yeah. So I went back and listened to the I show. I told you I was going to play matchmaker. Uh, so I went back and listened to the show also, because I was like, Were man. Were you dying? What, no, I was like, what did I say? <laughs> and then, especially, you know, I mean, you know, whatever. Just being funny about the finger in the butt thing or whatever, but. I was like, what did I say about her that could get me, right? So I was like, all right, um, uh, I didn't say anything bad. No. No, I didn't say anything bad. Nothing at all. bad at all. I, I, was, I was super embarrassed that I got caught. I mean, why? I don't know. That's what she said. She said, don't why be embarrassed. Would you, first of all, when I... when I, I told her I was going to hold back, and she told me you better not. She when told I, me I better just let loose today, too. So. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to let loose, too, today. <laughs> she told I me got that. a lot to say today. Right. Um, so I messaged her, and exactly what I said was, mm. you know, listen, I, I Kevin and I do a show together up in the DMV, mm -hmm. um, and if a gentleman said something so nice about me, because what you said when I listened back, I'm like, shit, I wish someone would say this shit about me <laughs> I, on public. Oh, my God. Um, I would want to know. I mean, you said really good-ish. Huh. Well, And then she did say something about the title, and I'm like, First of all, I mean, in any production, producer come on, Jeff. You, it's strategic, <laughs> yeah, producer right? Jeff. And um, clickbait, <laughs> clickbait all the way. I mean, duh. And um, 
Yeah. So I said, you know, don't let that deter. We have a good time. Yeah. You know, we try to deliver, round it up and bring it all back into, right. you know, something we hope is helpful. And we have, mm -hmm. we just have fun. And I would want to know. She was really engaging, really cool. We talked a bit about boating, yeah. um, this, that, and the other. So um, now you have a cyber crush too? We can't take my cyber crush. You can't take my cyber crush. Well, <laughs> Come on, it's rare to find chicks that'll even like just engage. I, I, I was like, she's probably going to think I'm psycho. I hear you. <laughs> and she didn't. So uh, I'm like, okay, and I'm not. Don't even say anything, Jeff. Don't even. <laughs> I know it's coming. <laughs> but, but so all week long, there's been little messages back and forth. Yeah. There, hasn't, there hasn't been a long conversation at all, right? So there hasn't been like some sort of long, drawn out, get to know each other kind of conversation. The fact is, is that she lives all the way in Florida. I live all the way here. Uh, you know, I feel like so oh, sorry about that, guys. I feel like in some ways for your schedule and she sounds like an active person. Like, yeah, what's wrong energy. with that? There isn't. What's wrong with being uh, there it's Florida? You're not talking. It's California or Minnesota I here, I know. guys. I, know. I mean, it's I know. yeah. So how do you feel the conversation is like? Uh, where do you think it's a, at? Th th there was a couple of times, you know, like you you as as the. The person who has the crush, the cyber crush, you're like, oh, here, take my number. You know, you're like, you want to hear that. You want to hear positive things, right? And then you're like waiting for like little signs <laughs> and you're like, you're not getting it. And I'm like, all right, well, it's still, you know, she just got all this laid on her and it's only been seven days, you know? So it's not that big a deal. But I feel she's, she stayed busy this whole week. Um, you know, what I didn't say last week was that she had a lot of things going on with her house. I know that. I yeah. Was, so all the stuff that I told you about, like I started feeling like as I was listening to the show, I started feeling like a stalker. <laughs> but the problem is, is out of the 5,000 friends, right? Out of the, like stop, stop. I know. But out of the 5,000 friends, only, I don't know if this is the same way on everybody's well, Facebook, <laughs> but only certain people show up on your timeline. Out of the 5,000. Well, that's an algorithm and you have to do certain things to make other things okay. show up. So anyway, I'm good she, at that part too. hers always <laughs> pops up, always pops yeah. up. So I always click on it and I always yeah. read it. I always look to see what she's doing. So it's not like I'm, I'm typing in her name and searching her name, her, her picture in her. It's info. because you click and, and stuff on her stuff all the time, or you have yeah. searched well, for her in course. the past or <laughs> right. it's just like ads. I mean, it reads the right. algorithm. If you want it to change, right. you just got to change it up. But I, got you. I think Kev, listen, Girls, you know, first of all, if I had heard you without knowing you, I would have been like stalker. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I started listening to myself and I'm like, I would have been like, how well, this guy looks. And but listens. knowing you, I know better. So for everybody listening, I know yeah. Kevin's not a psychopathic <laughs> stalker. She's, she, like, I've watched her build a house. Like, I, I'm like, all right, well, I want to help paint. Like, she's been painting. Yeah. I know the, I, it, and it kind of, because last week you asked me if we had talked before. And one of the things is she was installing smoke detectors. Yeah. And I hit her up and I said, hey, what do you Need. like i i install smoke detectors all day long you can right? fly it, but she, she i can't even i couldn't even get someone to come over and do mine <laughs> well, let alone fly me. to florida <laughs> call me i'd have gone right so yeah but she was putting in a new floor i could have helped with that she's putting yeah. a ceiling fan i could have helped with that like all the stuff she was doing with her house i'm super handy yeah <laughs> i'm like super construction guy i but, just think i think women i i think you got to keep this in mind and men out there take heed you know, when a guy is approaching us versus us approaching them and we don't know them, it does take us longer to work, mm -hmm. warm up. And the more independent a woman is, the more it takes her longer because we kind of are, my girlfriend and I talked about this because we're both chicken shit to DM <laughs> anyone. And we're going to go back to this every show until one day I'm going to yeah. come in and be like, I well, did it. Well, you need to, uh, go ahead. Wait, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. But, it, you know, when you're an independent woman, you're extremely um, in control of a lot of your life. It's not controlling, right. you know, but you do have control of those aspects. So when you're talking to a guy or, or anything, that's you're willing to be vulnerable, but you kind of forget how right. you're like, oh, shit, what do I do? So it takes women, I think, and, and you got to give them the grace to have that time. And with people in general, just don't read into too much shit. Shit will happen as it will. Right. And just. Just be chill. Still, still a little worried that she's seeing somebody. She's going out on the boat. And I know she. So what if she boat. is? Doesn't no, I don't know if she's. I mean, with, serious. But, uh, wait, yeah, hold on. Know. That yeah. before I get attacked. <laughs> oh God. Um, not, you that, know. not that it's you know like she's going out and living her life and she's living her best life. She's going to raise games. Her son's going to raise games. Uh, she's still going out on the boat. She's still going to dance class. I, I watched her all week, and you can't help it because she's putting stuff up, right? So you can't help but see it. Now yeah. this is where I turn into a little kid. Every post that I put up throughout the week, I just there, there might be 300 people that, that click like on my page. 
I'm not looking to see if they like it. You want her to like it. Oh, so you're, if, you're in deep. I'm looking to see if she likes you're it. You're in deep. What's up, Scott? <laughs> Scott's looking. No. I want no, Scott's comment. What oh. do you think about all this, Scott, in your young this mind? Is cute. I think it's super cute yeah. too. Well, in, anyway, so, so <laughs> I love how I just like I anyway. I don't care what Scott the engineer thinks I'm cute. I do, but but I love you, Scott. But, I'm Scott's biggest fan. I think. Aww. Aww. So any so anyway, throughout the week we had chit chatted back and forth. Today mm -hmm. might be the very first day. Today yeah. might be the very first day since you messaged her that we haven't at least said one thing to each other. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. And I and I didn't I didn't yeah. message her. like I was. Listen, I woke up this morning. Listen, we had a fire late last night. Right. Yeah, so I had, I, I had a fire late last night. Sorry. Woke up this morning. I had to go back to bed, went back to bed. And I and, and then I started hearing water dripping. Right. And water dripping. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it sounded like, you know, when the shower, head, your pit photos. Yeah, when the shower head lets loose in the shower and you hear yeah. it, you know, yeah. and I was like, all right, that's all it is. And then it started getting louder. So then, I, you know, you get up and panic and you move real fast, but you don't do anything because I'm asleep. You know what I mean? You want to put on clothes and you want to get ready to go and see what's going on. Right, do you say you're sleep naked? Oh, yeah. You do? Oh yeah. I can't sleep naked. Why not? I it's I I, I don't used to know. Not be that way, but now it's amazing. I don't know. I can't. Now it's amazing. It's so weird to me. Is it? And what I do, have to wear? I have to put like thong? little socks on thong? because I don't like. Just the, answer the question. I do not wear a thong to bed. I don't. No. I hate underwear. Period. <laughs> boy, boy, okay. The only time I'm wearing underwear is if I'm forced to with a dress. Okay, so no that's underwear. Naughty. Sleeping, right? No. Okay. And then you know if a guy wants you know. You so know. you just wear a t-shirt and no underwear. I wear socks. no. I wear my little my little pajama pants. Oh, you wear pajamas. You're like fully clothed. Yeah, I'm cold all the time too. I sleep in five socks blankets too. I have to because then I think of the even the, when you're in a relationship. Yeah, but um, here's why everybody's gonna make fun of me now and think I'm a germaphobe. Okay, but like say you don't shower right before bed and then your feet have been on the floor and then yeah, I don't want that shit on my sheets. Okay, I'm very picky about that. Okay, like it's not germaphobe though. <laughs> It sounds, it sounds very germaphobe. It's your house. It's like you vacuumed. <laughs> oh no, I I'm very I'm super very clean. clean. Me too. I can I can let things get messy if I'm like rush right. makeup. Like when I come sure. here, I'm mm -hmm. makeup this that. I'm packing for glow. Sure. I just want to give a shout out. I'm no, we're gonna talk about glow. I, I want to talk about glow here in a second. Woo -woo! Um, and I don't call that OCD. By the way, I call it putting it back where it goes. I'm very like today <laughs> at the gym. My poor trainer probably thinks I'm psychotic. First of all, the minute I get there, I bitch about the music and I make right. him change it. And then uh, if the if people have not put the weights back properly, doesn't that irritate you? I'm like, gym? are you five? Yes. Like who yeah. who raised you? I yeah. would kick my son's no, ass. I know. So that's the um, other thing she does. She goes to the gym all the time. So yeah. I'm watching her work out. It's like I am a part of this girl's life, and she has no idea. But I don't know if she realizes she posts her whole life. She posts her whole life. Like, of course she does. Like Kevin, I know what everything. Kevin, I have a show for you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's called it's called you. Yeah. You. Oh. oh, is that what it is? Have you seen that show? Uh uh. Yeah, you need to see that. <laughs> Stop oh. it. I've never seen it. Stop it, Jeff. <laughs> Uh, it's a guy that stalks women. That it's three really se that he's three oh. seasons. He's not aware, and he's a complete psycho. Oh, really? Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, both of you. I infatuated with him because they don't realize that he set it all up from <laughs> oh. so oh. yeah that's you well no. we've hold on in all fairness say, we've kind of put this out here on the show so in all fairness i, I do this just did it i did find her with good so detective you know, work. If this shit comes up murdered you're gonna yeah. be first one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah. guys that is that's a good call on the you <laughs> Why? I'm not that guy. You're not. Both Kevin. of you guys suck. I'm messing with I mean, you. I hadn't I'd like I'd, now. I, and, and there's a part of me now we shouldn't have talked about cyber crushes. No, but I mean, I'm a good detective. I wasn't gonna let it go. You guys yeah. don't let me off the hook for one damn minute in here. That's true. <laughs> I heard myself back. I'm like, oh my That's poor true. father. Um, but uh, no, I mean, I'm a good detective. Yeah. I caught my girlfriend, boyfriend, mm -hmm. in two. I'm gonna say. 2010 right and computers weren't laptops weren't as relevant like you didn't sure. have them in every office sure. so you're looking at an old school computer screen and she's like oh do you think he's cheating blah 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 and i said send me the picture he sent you so i i'm looking at it i'm looking at it, it's him and his kid and i zoom in on his ray-ban you know the reflectors <laughs> the reflection and i you were able to <laughs> screenshot right there was the girl she thought was cheating and uh, i did, cropped it sent it back to her i'm did like they work together why yes he no oh i said why yes he is cheating on you with mm. exactly who you thought leave it to jessica i will yeah. always find out I know. 
if well, I have to. So uh, today she put up a post about she uh, she doesn't want a what you doing kind of guy. She wants a let's go take care of it kind of guy. Like I'm always booking vacations. Let's just go. Like I jump in a car and say let's go to the beach. Like uh, I would always open a door. I, I'm always. What do you mean? Care. She wants a she guy wants, that makes that takes makes, care of things. Yeah, takes takes, takes like control. takes control. Yeah, and just treats her like. Uh, a person should be treated. I think I would want a guy like that because... I'm taking care of car maintenance. I'm pumping tires up in here, change your oil. I'm uh, making sure she doesn't walk up against the street. That's my. That's me. She described me. Yeah. Today. Well, I'm like the planner of like my group and I enjoy it because I like getting our friends together and I've been a good planner, you know, pretty much all my life. So it would be refreshing to me if a dude just be like, hey, we're going here. I planned yeah, it all. I'd be like... Go. Just yeah. give me time to you have the right clothes. <laughs> you don't need to do anything. I think one of my one of my girlfriends back and nowhere cold, please. One of my girlfriends back in around 2010, maybe 2009. Uh, she came home from work and there was a limo waiting. Yeah, I put her in a limo. We went to the airport and went to Vegas, and I she mean, didn't she didn't have time to pack or put anything in there. And we went to Vegas and landed, went straight to Caesars and just bought everything new. I, I think I have had that done for me, um, but I've done it for other people. I think you remember this. Jeff, you remember this when I bought my ex the Z06 and brought it up in a red bow to what is that? Is that Jack that and Yeah, the Z06, the Corvette. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. It I was 2005 Z06. Oh. No, I bought him it. You bought him a Corvette. Yeah, Jeff was there. We had tables that night at Omeras in a red bow. What was Omeras? I've never even heard of Omeras. What was Omeras? <laughs> Whatever. What was Shut up. We, uh, I talked to one of the bartenders there today, old bartenders. She was like, I know Kev, it, I, he, was, he was at Omeras, right? He emceed. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, yep, that was Kevin. But yeah, I did that. I wish someone would do that shit for me. I know. I think every woman. I'm that guy, though. I think every woman wants like one grand gesture moment yeah. i think we deserve not that guys don't mm -hmm. but i'm saying i think women you know yeah no, high level it. high level guys it. not every woman right. would love one grand gesture moment like one of our girlfriends you guys i think know her uh her now husband last year put together what do you call that the flash mop Okay. The, oh, yeah. Well, everybody kind of dances for you for your birthday or for the, the mall or and something. for the engagement. Oh, that's kind of cool. Had it filmed, and she's. Wa I'm watching her watch it start. She has no clue that it's for her. For the, no clue. And I'm like sitting there crying. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Pay attention, are lady. Are you kidding me? No, not her. <laughs> I know. Meaning, like, I want that. I want. So I don't need to get married, but I, I would yeah. like a a grand gesture moment i need that for my future <laughs> boyfriend someday hopefully before well, i'm 50. Any, so anyway so we can move on with the show because we spent 20 minutes talking about me That's your fault. And, and i thought jeff was making a joke about you like this show is a tribe called jess and it doesn't need to be the show doesn't need to be called Kev, yeah know. it doesn't need to be about me i don't but care jess did it but jess did Ke it she everybody it. thought he was let me tell you everybody <laughs> texts me each week or messages me and says the chemistry between you and kevin is just so good he's fucking hilarious <laughs> he feeds off you you feed off him and then jeff and scott coming in and they always get who's that kid and i'm mm. like scott <laughs> <laughs> with the big ipad with the big right. ipad she did she did put it out i did see her in one of her messages she actually tweeted out or i'm sorry she facebooked out or put the link out for spotify for her friends to listen to down in tampa Excellent. I, so I saw that. And everybody, please share Spotify, I, iTunes, I I, YouTube. So I'd be curious about what her friends told her. Like that may be when the friend said, hey, you need to stay away from this too. Uh, he's, he's crazy. Well then, <laughs> well then, whatever. Then they're not, no offense, I like her. No, but, yeah. you know, then it's not meant to be. Whatever. She's, always, she's just always smiling, super high energy, always doing <laughs> Jeff, something. Jeff, we're going to so. have to get him, this so, girl. Anyway. Oh my she's God. Just so, but here's the thing though. I was getting ready to tell you. You have not given anything about your cyber crush. Like, I'm a super good detective, too. You have told... I'll never find mine. Yeah, because you're not going to give me any information. No, I'm not. I actually gave out information on a cyber when crush. When I am ready, and this gives anticipation, I thought about this today. That you didn't give me any information? Because somebody this week... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I love you, Kevin. <laughs> Somebody this week goes, why Why do you do this? How are you putting all this shit out there? Like, doesn't it make you nervous? Right. And I'm like... What am I putting out there? Look, mm. I'm 48 years old. Right. I I've lived a, a lot of bad shit, a lot of good shit, made good decisions, bad decisions. Mm -hmm. It's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> and as I go along, I'll give more and more, keep you antici with anticipation. Right. Um, but And I'm I'm ashamed of none of it. Some of it oh. I have trouble talking about, and, but I'll get there. So I think while I'm doing this, I hope somebody else hears it. And even though we laugh and shit, right. that it's really funny. And then someone else was like, uh, how do you like, 
when you're with the guys, you guys, not me, they're nobody, everybody loves you guys. It was just kind of like, you know, does it make you nervous? Like what we talk about. And when we're talking about anal threesomes mm, last week, and I yeah. said, you know, when you have a level of trust with two men that you've known a long time, uh -huh. and I talked to you Saturday morning because I was a little upset about something that I do not want to talk about on air. Right. Um, and, uh, y you know, to be able to call my friend, Kevin, who we just sat here and talked, is such a blessing. So when I sit here with you three, mm. and I want people to know there's just a level of, of trust, and I love yeah, there just might be microphones in front of our face, but we're still talking the same I'm ta way. I'm not talking about trust that you won't say something. Trust no, no, I got like, you. I yeah. love you guys. So I know when we're talking about threesomes, <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> what did I get myself into? But I love every minute. So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm no, yeah. So at some point in time, you're going to give me more hints about your crush. Yeah. Okay. I have met Mike. This is someone I know. You've met him. Oh, this is someone I know. <sighs> Lucky. I will say that. It's someone I know I've known. And he has no idea. A while that I, uh, I don't know. So, I mean, come on, guys aren't dumb, but like, no, what'd you just say? What? Jeff? Okay, Jeff. see, shout out to the men, Jeff. You're not even paying Jeff. attention. Sorry, she I said, said guys aren't dumb. <laughs> okay. I mean, whatever. What? But I look at it like, look, I know how men are. If they wanted to, they would. And so, like, I don't think he's that stupid. So right. I'm like, whatever. Like, right. you're not. Like if you want to do it and I'm, I like, I don't want to chase her, mm -hmm. but if I want someone to pursue me and if they're not going to like, he's not chasing you now. If you sleep in pajama pants, socks and a, <laughs> and a sweater, you're I not. did say I would put on sexy <laughs> shit for a guy, you but like sexy shit, just don't put anything on. I don't like the naked sleeping. It, you don't have to be all the way naked. Just wear a t-shirt. The only time I slept naked really on purpose was when I'm drunk. <laughs> I just kidding? What about after Nookie? If you after you get laid, do you still do you get out of bed? It depends. That put depends. Put your clothes on, or are you just kind of spoon with nakedness. Oh, I, I'm not going to put my clothes on, climb back in, and spoon. Okay. I mean, no, yeah, but okay. like, if I'm conscious enough to like, <laughs> <laughs> that sounded bad. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> and that's coming up this weekend. Speaking of consciousness, because you're going to be at glow. I'm, I probably won't drink. I'm I'm DD. We're going to a pre party tomorrow morning. How many people? When you DD, how many people go with you? Um, this I'm picking up three of my girlfriends. Okay. We all have hot outfits. I love. This is the greatest thing, right? Mm. My, have you seen the thing with Mike Tyson? He talked to the owner of EDC, which is Electronic Daisy Carnival. I hope I said that right. Okay. Um, and he said this should all go, or you know, all over the world at once. Because the cool thing about, you know, um, electronic music festivals, it's just a different vibe. Everybody can get into it. It used to go off the plur, peace, love, unity, respect. I've never seen a fight there. Everybody's happy. Yeah, they're, all, they're all, all right, shut yeah, up. They're all, yeah, That's not you. true. All right. I, I will be, I will be sober and the one you, dancing the most. You, I know. Not everybody's fucked but up. A lot old, of people are I'm fucked say, up. All those younger kids, all the kids Scott's age. They're fucked up. Scott, if you were at Glow, would you be fucked up? Tell the truth. I'm responsible. Uh, Scott, you're not responsible here. Oh, come on. Work. Don't ruin. You're, hey. You're Scott. Okay, rock and roll, uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I okay. mean, we're talking concerts. Come on. Okay. But, I, you know, it's just such a vibe. But what I love most, I love two things, and I always take a video at Echo when I'm there right. of the kids downstairs because I'm up in VIP. I mm. love watching the kids, the energy. I love their energy. It gives me so much energy. And then the costumes. Like, I love preparing mine. I love what, especially the chicks, but everybody, people wear Halloween. It's like Halloween, but in times June. a million. Yeah, or in May, yeah. Times a million. I got so you. What, the One of the best I saw in, in a risque last year, but she was so hot and she was with her boyfriend and she was so beautiful and so nice. She was this beautiful blonde and her breasts were fresh off the table for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and she had just, one tape and one tape and That's one it? tape and one tape and these booty shorts nice. and these cute high tops and that I was like, a little bit Key West and she was so oh at the the yeah. sex yeah. festival mm -hmm. thing <laughs> what is that called I can't remember fantasy fest is that what it is, is the fantasy, fantasy I thought fest. fantasy fest was in Vegas but maybe not no the fantasy fest is, is in Key West, West is I think it? okay I have not been but I have I know people that have went it yeah. looks fun it does look fun um but yeah it's just it's just such a good vibe and they do such a good job and they work so hard all week to set up um. So excited. Sunday's the best day. So I'm just stoked. And so, then, so you're going to go party from tomorrow. Until Sunday night. Until Sunday night. So tomorrow morning, 
starts glow. Where is glow? Glow at RFK out right at, uh, oh, RFK. I thought grounds. they knocked RFK down. Nope. Oh, okay. That's the RFK fairgrounds. I don't know if RFK itself it's right is right next still to the standing. armory. Yeah. Yeah. So the year, so it's all day event. It's, it's literally like right the old there. Warp tour. It's from one p.m. Or Ozfest or something. Yeah, I've been to all. Yeah. I've so all. so basically, so basically, you stay all day, all night. And where do you stay Saturday night? Do you come back home Saturday night? Uh, and no, go I'll back probably Sunday? stay at my girlfriend's house um, in Springfield. Okay. Or I'll it's just a get closer. a hotel in DC. It does, like, yeah. There's so many places. Um, and do you bring? I guess you bring a bag and have your outfit yep. for Sunday. You don't keep the same outfit. I'm doing a Western electronics. Style. Western. Yeah. Ooh. So it's yeah, it's light like, up cowboy boots kind of thing. I didn't get light up, but I do have really high cowboy boots. They're hot. Mm. I think they're hot. Yeah. Maybe nobody else will think they're. And I did match. I, yeah. You holy. know what the greatest thing about this is, is that you're not there for me it, to listen to the story and watch you. You are not there picking up a dude. No. Nope. You are there for 48 hours just to get your dance on. I love. Just to I go love have a good time. All, I love all music. Like somebody made fun of me. I was listening to opera. This but yeah, week. but I mean, like, but I love, country, I hip -hop. love this music culture. Yeah, I love the vibe. I love the people. I've and I've partied with these people for so long. Right. Um, in D.C. and it's just such a good vibe. So I'm super, super excited. Um. Yep. I'm two day VIP and only. I'll tell you why. Because I need a bathroom, a closed bathroom. <laughs> Forty eight year bladder don't book work. Your room. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I get, that's probably the question, Jess, that I get asked the most. Because you know, I started DJing back, you know, 30, 40 years ago, right? When I was a kid. And because, you know, the push and play at the roller skating center, and then all the way up through entertaining the drunks around here. Mm -hmm. But I probably get that asked the most about the music. Right, you yeah. just brought up the music and saying yeah. you love all the music, and they always want to go. I love all music. Yeah, they say, "What's your favorite song?" and or "What's your favorite mm -hmm. kind of music?" Listen, I like the music that's going to make everybody else happy and that's dance. That's right. That's what the, Mike Tyson. Though I was telling if you, you're going to dance. Like, I'm going to play it, man. It, yeah, it's just such a vibe. I feel music, and I don't know if everyone else feels music. I feel like not everybody gets that, and I, I don't just feel this music, but sure. it just. I could be ready to fall asleep, and I hear. Yep. I'm, I'm right back I'm up you. and I'll dance. And I, you know, since I haven't been drinking really, I did drink on my birthday in DC. That was, I forgot I did that. Um, but I was dancing until almost three to Benny and three to Tales of Us yeah. completely sober and, and loved every minute. So, but, but I can tell you that, you know, it would not matter in my set if I was at O'Mara's or KC's or PJ Skadoo's or, yeah. you know, downtown, uh, wherever I was DJing in Vegas or wherever I was at push and play. Whatever I felt the crowd was into and I could see them dancing, it wouldn't matter. I'd be playing some country, yeah. playing some rock, playing some hip hop. But this is, I mean, you're talking is, Tiesto, you're talking Green Velvet, no, Dom Dollar. So it's different for you. Uh, one this of these is fests. for electronic yes. music. Correct. Correct. You're not so going to go I hear electronic play. music no, no, no. at a country but music there, festival. But there are some songs, some mashups to the electronic oh, music. Oh, a lot. There's a lot of mashups right. actually right now. And you know what's cool this year? They brought 80s back. So much 80s going into the um, right. electronic music dancing. So I just saw uh, they opened up a disco club down in St. Pete. Disco I was, is... I was super pumped. I was like, I'm going to the disco in St. Pete. Disco is so back right now. Yeah. So I'm just pumped. I, I, I just love it. You. Heck yeah, I'm going to take Hell my skates yeah. with me. I would take I my would, rollerblades. I would kill it in that disco club in my skates. Hell yeah. So I roller skate better than I walk, Jeff. It'll be a good time. <laughs> and then we're going to we're gonna turn around on May 13th for Jeff, who who is one of the owners of this place. Right. That's going to be amazing. We're going to rock out to Kicks. I cannot which, wait for that. Which I haven't seen Kicks since Jack's right. early 2000s, late wow. 90s. So, wow. like, that'll be really, really fun. And I, happy birthday, Jeff. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, whatever. A lot of How old are you going to be? He's not telling 39. us. 39. Yeah, he's Why not telling us. Why would you say your he's, age? He's not telling us. He's not telling. Are you it's 50? The, it's the annual 39th birthday. Uh, Correct. All right, I want to stay That's 28 funny. forever. I love that I age. It. Or 36. I not like not anyway. to change the subject, but I saw you put up your guy the other day. You told me that I needed to start following on TikTok. Joey. Yeah. Joey. And, and what did he say? Because for some reason, I could not It get... was a say. It, uh, that one was a reiteration of inspiration, orgasm, oh. Oh. or uh, income. <laughs> 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 Joey's great. He just always has some good shit, and he kicks it to you straight. If you follow him on TikTok or the Instagram, right. he's just like, he, he says what's in my head, like, if he wanted to, he would. Don't text your ex. Don't like right. just don't do it. Right. Don't fuck your own. You're you're getting in your own way. So I yeah, he's awesome. Uh, I love. I, I couldn't open it for some reason, and I don't know where I was, yeah. and I was trying to read it because I figured you'd bring it up. 
And I was like, well, the last time he said something, but I, it's not, not what he brings up. It's just, he's over the top high anxiety. Like he's not, just awesome. He's, he's powerful about what he's got to say, to say. He's so. high energy. And that's why I think that's why I connect with him is because I'm the same right. way. Hey, when you I, go, when you I go, have one speed go, if you go to glow yeah. and you stay in a hotel, yeah. you are not bringing pajamas. Yeah. So what are you sleeping in? No, I'm bringing my pajamas. No, you are not. I'm bringing you're my not, fucking. No, you're not. What for myself? Yeah, I'm no, gonna no. sleep in my. You're all right, I'll sleep in my cowgirl boots and naked. No, you're gonna take your clothes <laughs> off and just get in the bed. It, I I doubt it. I'll be cold. It's raining cold. <laughs> if 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 you want me to say I'll be naked, I'll do it, Kev. I'll just no, fucking do no. it. All right, what happens? All right, so what happens if you I actually? She gets it. Yeah. What happens if I you? Don't, what I don't happens if it. you actually meet a guy? At oh, Glow? I told you no. I'm not taking some dude home. I meet and banging him. Okay. I, <laughs> I didn't know. No. Okay. No. Any Are chance? you going to meet some chick it, this weekend and take her home and bang her? Where? I uh, doubt it. I got a softball game to coach on uh, Saturday. You can meet a to, hot mom. I go to yeah. I go to the firehouse on Sunday. You can it's meet not a hot a mom. I can do this weekend. You could be the hero to some woman and <laughs> yeah. save her from a fire, and she's going to pay you back. Yeah, <laughs> she's going to pay you back. So, so there is no chance that you could meet up a guy no. and invite him back. No. Okay. Well, I was no. Did I'm you, not going to meet a random you, stranger and be like, no. Really? You wouldn't do that? No. Take him for a drink? Maybe go to the hotel lobby and just hang First out? First of all, I ain't taking shit for a drink. Oh. <laughs> take me for a drink. That's what I meant. Go <laughs> out for I didn't mean to take him for a drink. I'm go not saying, like, no, because I'll be having too much fun with my friends. I don't want you interfering with my next day. And Will your girls do that? Will your girls pick up dudes? No. Honestly, no. We all just have so much fun. Mm. No. I wish I could. I, I wish I had a better. You got to make it exciting you. at some point in time for Glow, right? I mean, they, you, you're just. Uh, there's going to be thousands you, and thousands and thousands. Uh, It'll be people. real exciting. Half naked There'll people. be some hot makeout and sessions. The, and you're going back to the hotel room and put on jammies. Yeah. That's the life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think you. If he went to one of those and danced all day, the last thing you yeah. care about at the end of the day, you're like, help me make it through the next day. <laughs> all right. Uh, um, no, I'm sure there'll be people. Right there, right there during the things, yeah. doing naughty, naughty things. Yeah. I hope I see it. I'll report back. <laughs> Just like watching. I mean, whatever. Yeah, 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 out in public like that, I'd be like, that's some balls right there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's outside. It's not under roof. So it's all outside. So what uh, happens there's it, cover in certain stages. It's supposed to rain Sunday, Sunday yeah. like hurricane rain. Poncho. Yeah. I oh, bought a thick poncho. They you're really just going to dance in a poncho. A hundred percent. I'm I'm doing Rolling Stones rocker on that's my outfit on uh, Sunday. Is this going to be like a little muddy Woodstock kind of feel? Is this going to be gross out there? I don't. Uh, no, I think they had turf. Like last year, they had turf most places. I, oh, okay. I, if memory serves me, so it should be a really. I mean, I'm going to dance in the rain. Sunday's the my favorite day of the lineup. So in Saturday night, what time will it finish? Because eleven. It's 11. I think it's eleven. It doesn't really get dark until about eight thirty nine o'clock. Yeah, so, no, I think the noise ordinance is 11. Okay. So, so I wasn't sure if you had like, because everybody, when you call it glow, I'm thinking like, you guys are going to have glow sticks and yeah. it's going to light up at night. But oh, you it'll really be lit up all day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you can't see them during the day. Uh, but they, they have all the, they have Secret Garden this year, which is like a different section that I think will be really cool. That's that sounds um, that sounds, sounds hot, dirty. Jeff. Somebody's sounds secret naughty. garden. Yeah. <laughs> oh <All> God. Right. <laughs> no, it's just a different vibe. And they have the I think it's Eternal Stage, Pulse Stage, and then Skate Stage, which is actually cool because last year it was like a I think a blow up thing. It was really neat. Oh, cool. So a lot of the local DJs are on there as well. I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of videos. Oh. Oh, well, I told Scott, get me a microphone. Yeah, uh, we're working on it. Oh, yeah, right. gonna, <laughs> I bet gonna you don't have that microphone. <laughs> no. what, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, right. I was gonna get so talk, go out and interview people. Hey, talk hey, to Dad, people. Can you go buy this? <laughs> yeah, right. That means, I asked if there was one asked, laying. I asked, asked if engineer. there was one laying around because I forgot to get one. <laughs> you asked Scott the engineer instead of Jeff the I think owner. We have one. So yeah, I mentioned it to you, Jeff. I don't take care of that. That's what he's for. Oh my God! <laughs> we don't have the budget here. All I do is. Scott says we need it, and then I I pay for it. Yeah, that's how it okay. works. Or, All right. No, it's both of you. Who? Kevin and Scott <laughs> are always hit, telling Daddy that we need this. And daddy. Now I gotta, they right, call you Daddy. Go on Amazon, uh, yes. So um, I had a funny story this week. Okay. And it was about my grandparents. Your grandparents? <laughs> Do you want to hear this? Yeah, I'd love to. So my grandpa, unfortunately, fell 
this oh, week. That's and, not uh, a great story. He's okay. Okay. He's okay. So my grandparents have been married since 1955. So what's that? 68 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And my grandma will be, I believe, 90 this month. And my grandfather's younger. See. Well, this look is at where that. I get it, it just from. Falls Killing straight it, straight from the tree in '55. That's right. All right. And um, so he'll be 89 this year. And they they set up their plans. They had you know went into the living place. Then it's assisted living, sure. and then you know the healthcare unit. Sure. He just went into my grandma's in the assisted. We go there all the time. <laughs> so my aunt and I are talking, and I tease my grandparents all the time. I talk to them like I would talk to anybody. If my grandma answers the phone out of breath, I'm like were you and grandpa having sex? <laughs> and she giggles. And I mean, these are church going people, but I'm like, they're still humans. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Can you so, start throwing out a little different lingo and say, Hey, were you and grandpa railing? Railing. Were uh, you just see? Uh, were you guys? I might not say that to no, grandma. Come on. She's 90. <laughs> She'd be like, Jesse. She's the only person in the world allowed to call me Jesse. Oh. No one else is allowed. She's 90. Like, Jesse, what Ask does that me? mean? Yeah, she's 90. <laughs> Although she probably knows. Yeah. So my aunt and I are talking and we're, you know, just telling me the plan with my grandfather. And she's like, yeah, so they moved three years ago. So that would have made them about 86, right? Mm -hmm. And they're moving them over. And my aunt finds, you know, fresh off the, you know, from the shelf, Viagra, my grandpa had. Your grandpa 86, been married 60, so five years at this point. Yeah. Right? Grandpa's and my grandma is standing there and my aunt goes, Mom, she's like, Are you and dad still having sex? And my grandma just starts giggling and laughing. Yes. Like, yeah. And I'm like, so, Why wouldn't you? Hold on. First of all, I'm like, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. And then I called my aunt back. I said, I have to tell this on the show. Of course you did. I was like, because it's hopeful, it's right. inspirational that A, you're still having sex in your late yeah. 80s. I mean, Listen. and that you've been married at that point, 65 years now, 68, and you're, my grandpa's still hitting it. <laughs> your, well, you, I mean, your grandpa and your grandma have just landed in the biggest swingers club on the planet. <laughs> right? Don't put them so, in that light. Right. Absolutely there, I mean, not. Listen, what else is there to do? Bingo, board games, and swinging. No, right? they That's love you. No. That's okay. What, they're, they're 90. Why can't they explore? I don't think they're swinging at all. I think Why not? They have always There's a place in Florida called The Villages <laughs> that just get it in. I don't think people want to think about that about old people. That's they, not why they're tuning into our like show 70 and older i just and i got, i had hope i was like hey there's hope that i can have sex in my <laughs> old old age thank there is you now with pills. And, and it's in my dna so obviously it's all good that's amazing i thought it was really inspirational so did you say something to your grandfather i'm going to see them uh cool because now he's been moved over to the health mm -hmm. part so i'm going to go see them next week and i absolutely will i mean what are you gonna say to my him? grandma what are you gonna say to him? i won't say anything to my grandpa because he's a little Why? Bit, he's in dementia oh like, yeah okay um so he won't even remember so say something <laughs> what's he gonna do he's like, he can't get mad at you he would never get mad at me i'm super close <laughs> with my grandparents but i'm gonna tease the shit out of my grandma <laughs> that's a great story yeah it's a great story so what did your so, aunt do when she found the pills she looked at my grandma and said, Mom, are you still having you and, and grandpa still having sex? And, and then my grandpa's like, My grandma's like, my height. Right. You have to understand. She's like, <laughs> Where are your grandma and grandpa from? Uh Westminster, Maryland. And then we all grew up, they moved to right at the outskirts of Philly. So Okay. You've got a you've got a uh a, a, a touch of New York accent. Philly. That's where I'm from. Right. But it, it sounds I mean, I you it's probably Philly because I don't know the difference between Philly and New York. But it sounds a little from New opening Yorker. restaurants in uh, New York. Uh, so I, I think I say coffee more like and New York. In the sound, uh, no, talking's definitely Philly. Is it okay? Um, I, I would be more Boston too. And it really know. depends on where I'm at. So if I'm talking to in a business meeting, mm. I psychologically I change that. Like, hi, how are you? Can I have some water? <laughs> yeah. um, if I'm relaxed and Can I'm talking, you spend talk your money with me, please. Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, I always get made fun of for saying tail and nobody knows what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So they used to make fun of me on the boat and all good fun. I got a kick out of it. Like, Can I have a teal tail? It means towel. Oh, a towel. towel. I didn't know what it was. A towel. Yeah, nobody knows what that a means. Towel. And yeah, so yeah. yeah. I have a problem. I think it's hot though when I hear guys from up north because I'm used to not hearing it. Right. So freaking hot. I like when they have their accents down here. Right. I just melt like. And then Scott's doing this tonight, but I was thinking of another thing that makes me melt with men is that hat to the back. Oh. And hot. Slacking. Has his, 
Has his hat backwards. No, because I, I used to do that. When I was DJing at O'Mara's and so DJing at KC's, I always had my hat backwards. Dude, if I see a guy hat backwards, I am I, I am double taking him. I no, always not have you, my hat Scott, backwards. sorry. Oh. I love you too. Yeah, because Scott has the worst hat on to be yeah. backwards. He has the hat that pulls tight through the street. It's not like oh. it's You have terrible. to tuck the little it thing the in. Tail. Yeah, yeah you looks, tuck it in. There's a little hole right there to tuck that, your that thing in. That looks terrible. Get that. a fitted hat and turn it on backwards. Yeah, no, a fitted hat for sure, dude. Yeah. I I melt, right? I melt for that hat backwards thing, and then I normally uh, have my hat on backwards. I have an. I just feel like it's like a uh, like a Scott Age thing now. I have an obsession with uh, men's sneakers. Oh, me too. Like I really like I. Me too. I it doesn't. They don't have to be on a man. Mm -hmm. But I. So I. I know we went away from dating last week. We we're gonna talk a little bit about dating. Right. And I had a clip, but we don't even have to play it. You can. We can play it real quick because I've done this to a guy over sneakers. Really? Yeah. This one? Yeah. What is it? Go ahead. I, it doesn't need to be set up. Go ahead. Over the other day, and I was like, "How was the date?" She's like, "Oh my god, it was a nightmare." And I'm like, "Why? Well, what happened?" She's like, "Actually, he was a great guy. Like everything was perfect. He was so respectful. I had a great time." But then at the end of the date, he said a joke and he stuck his tongue out at me, and he thought it was cute. Like I could tell he thought it was cute. But I almost threw up on my on my plate, and I'm like, "What?" She's like, "Yeah, I almost threw up. Like I couldn't handle it. Like it gave me such the ick. Like I ghosted him immediately." And I'm like, "What's wrong with you?" Like. This is the problem with today's generation. Everyone's complaining, I can't find my soulmate. Oh my God, everyone sucks. Nobody's serious. Like, you're not serious. Stop crying over that situation you said you were in love with, even though he treated you like garbage, but you're not going to give this respectful guy a chance because he stuck his tongue out weird. Like, come on. Seriously, get a grip. I, I heard that. I heard yeah. that earlier in the week, and I thought that was the dumbest thing that I ever heard. The girl was mad because he joked around, and then when he's done joking around, he stuck his tongue out. Trying to be cute, I guess, depending on what age he is, because he looks pretty young, and probably your girlfriend's probably, I don't know, in the early 20s, I would say, and he tried to just make a joke, and the girl lost her mind about the joke. If you don't have a sense of humor, you can't hang out with me, period. And I think I think this goes on a lot right now, and I think people actually wanted, had inboxed me, like, what about the dating stuff? So I, I want to make sure we come around to it. Real quick, I, I agree with her, actually, 100%. But I did one time, a girl wanted to introduce me to a gentleman, and he was a little immature for me. So to be fair, I wouldn't have dated him anyway, but I literally- When you say immature, like 21? No, no, no. It was just, um, oh. you can tell when a guy's a bit immature. No, I think he was in his 30s. Just by the way they act. Yeah. It, it, How they carry themselves. It didn't make him a bad person. No, no, no. They just it, carry themselves. It just made him immature yeah, for me. Sure. I knew it wouldn't, yeah, yeah. wouldn't vibe. He would get on my nerves. Um, a hundred percent. I would yeah. eat him alive. Yeah. Um, but I, it was funny cause I hadn't seen that part of him yet. And I just looked down and I was like, uh, I turned to my friend. I'm like, Oh, I can't, I can't go on a date with those sneakers. No, <laughs> ever. And she was like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, I have an obsession with, they don't have to be fancy. I'm just really into like men's sneakers. Like I used to get picked on a lot because of like, like I don't really, I don't know if you call it looking somebody up and down but i will immediately check somebody's feet when they walk by it's not the shoe like i don't care if you wear ferragamos you or dress shoes really from you know it doesn't matter to is me there what a dress specific shoes. shoe that turns you off immediately and says i can't even talk to that person no it was it, well these were tattered beat up dirty sneakers at a club and i'm thinking uh but they you know i i was like you could have I just have an obsession with sneakers. Look, I don't give a shit what shoes you wear if you're a good mm, person. I do. But with the immaturity, <laughs> oh, do. do you? I do. What do you care about? Crocs. Okay. Oh, God. Chicks wear Crocs. Oh, if you see an adult uh, in I a guess... grocery store wearing Crocs, she, is, she is straight out the garage cleaning house, right? She has just got done. She fell You're going to have a lot of care. girls mad at you. I have, I have, I have said this. I don't Are care. we taking live calls or not? I don't care. Call I don't care. Right now, yeah. Call in. There's call a time in. and a place to wear your Crocs. If you're I, going fishing on the well, boat. If she goes, cool. she, uh, hold on. No, like, Crocs are never okay. I, I, I'm not. I, I listen, don't wear them. I'm, I'm okay with them in certain places, but they are a deal breaker for me with Crocs. If you go out in public, then it, like this is part of your outfit. Like you I match wouldn't, your I outfit. Wouldn't. I have to be. And what are the little things, Scott? Scott, get back on the air. So, what are the little things that they put on the toes of the crocs? Uh, I know what you're talking about. What are they called? They're not. A, I don't know. I don't like, wear that dingies. shit. What are they? Put pendants I, or something? Nah, I can't remember where they so are. Cool. They're what? Ding oh, I mean, not cool. They're not cool. <laughs> Scott's getting. There's the dumbest thing ever. 
They're like uh, little pins. So but, let me ask you guys this then. Are you saying like women, period, never can wear Crocs unless they're at home? Yeah, I mean, no, yeah. So I would but I would it, say. So if you see a woman out here, even at the grocery or running into 7 Eleven Crocs, listen, she's, if she's hot, deal breaker, and she, you can tell that she just ran to the grocery store real quick. There are people that go out in public so, with Crocs on. The kids today, everybody goes to school. My son wears Crocs. All day long in Crocs. I, it is a rule for my softball team. They cannot wear Crocs. <laughs> it's a rule. Can't wear them. Really? Can't. Nope. I think. So why look, should it matter? So if a just, hot girl just think you think can get bad. away with it no, and not a hot girl? No. No. Mm -hmm. So it's a deal breaker for you. It's a. It's. I mean. I, I, that's listen, okay. But that's one of the things. Tattered. That I've, those tattered shoes he had were probably uh, <laughs> a little bit of a deal breaker for me. But I feel like that's something I'd be like, listen. Um, I think you're super hot and super cool, but we ain't going out when you have Crocs on your feet. Like, so it's a no from go. Uh, nah, I don't know about that, but it just depends on who you are. All right, Jeff. Wait, Jeff. Will be it's a no. I mean, you got to be super hot. <laughs> yes. Slide, but tell them they can't wear them again. I would much so rather see you So you're giving them pretty privilege with yeah. Crocs. Yes. So, but, but if they have uh, toes that look like they've been kicking Oh, off I can't shoes. do that. Oh, either. yeah. Well, Bad toes are they, terrible. You got to take care of your feet. Yeah. Nah. Bad toes are terrible. I have friends with foot fetishes. <laughs> you got to take care of your yeah. feet. Guys are looking. I don't have a foot fetish, but I don't I'm not saying you do. You got to keep yourself like nice. Like I'm terrified in the summer. Yeah. I will always have my feet done because I like yeah, some of my boat. some good friends of mine. Yeah, I'm like, if the they boat. see my feet, they're gonna call me out. <laughs> but, it's, but it's different when you're on the boat in the Potomac. Well, I'm not on the boat anymore. I go out in DC here and there. Yeah, but if you go out on the boat in the Potomac, it'll eat your toes up. Oh yeah, you're right. If you go out in the boat in Tampa or St. Pete or the Keys or Sarasota or wherever else, it's healthy for your feet. Yeah, yeah, the Potomac they'll yeah. kill you. Yeah, the Potomac will turn Sever your clothes your wrong colors. Yeah, yeah, I'm afraid. <laughs> I probably have your some... white bathing suit will now be shit brown. No, my white bathing suit stayed white out there. Believe it or not, you didn't get in the water. You have bad feet. You just got to keep them covered up. Yeah, fair in Crocs. Yeah. <laughs> terrible, Crocs, though. terrible. Not Crocs. But going back to what she said. Um, I think that that is very true of nowadays. And I think really it comes down to self-sabotaging behavior, especially it either comes down to self-sabotaging behavior or it's FOMO, mm -hmm. right? It's this guy is so good. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to find a reason to f find bad at him because I can't believe that a guy is good because so many guys and girls are playing games alike. I'm not just finger right. pointing men, but sure. I can only speak from a female perspective. Um, or it's FOMO. I think, it, is there a better guy? Is there a better guy? And when you start going down, I, so I did, uh, you know, some research on this. And right before I left home, I did it last week. Right, right before I left home, I happened to be looking up the definition of a situationship. <laughs> of a situationship? So, yeah. because Never heard of that. Uh, okay. Never heard on. of that. Situationship? All right. So Never right now, the big word is, and I've heard of it only because I hang out with younger people. So it's basically like you're romantically involved with someone but it is not defined at all mm. but you're a lot of times i will say on the girl side what i see is they're not going they're loyal to their situationship the other half of that is not loyal to their situationship gotcha. but all the things that are happening so i pull up this and i gotta read this to you guys like just go down the list okay so i pull this up and this little blurb comes and it says confusing dating terms whatever this was like literally at 6 45 and i'm like i gotta read this and i'm like after i read this i'm like first of all i who wants to date i i don't i don't know who would want to date <laughs> so we know what ghosting is guys and listening yeah. out there now you'll be educated and all this i know crap. what that one is what is it yeah nobody returns your call or yep. text they just so no response. they ignore you you just ghost then there's haunting <laughs> i like this one so you're ghosted but then they continue to like your pictures and, and all your social media <laughs> stuff. So they're haunting you, but they won't respond to you. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, zombieing, uh -huh. they ghost you totally and then show up like nothing ever happened. Like they've been talking to you every day. There's, um, hold on, there's cushioning. Cushioning? Yes. Okay. So this is a person in a relationship that is... It, it overly flirts with others just in case as a backup plan. Oh. I mean, there's active terms. And then we have pocketing where they're in a relationship with you, or at least you think so. Right. And there's no evidence of it anywhere on social media. Oh. You're not meeting their friends. And then there's curving. They keep responding and they cancel last minute. Mm. I've experienced that in my life. I, right. I didn't have a definition for it. <laughs> and, uh, 
then breadcrumbing. And of course, that's leading someone on and then giving them hope. And then there is actually no hope. Oh. I got to the end of this shit. And I hope people are out there listening because that's a lot of definitions. When for I a get a lot of things, when I get convicted about something yeah. and look in my eyes, whoever's watching. Yeah. Do not put up with this shit yeah. because you teach people how to treat you. If anything of this, this is going on, you know what's valuable in life? Your time. And this Correct. is all a waste of your time. I agree. It is much better to be alone and love yourself and, and, and do that than be in a confusing, this confusing bullshit. Let me tell you, I would leave it. I, I would give it a little time. Like maybe give them a... <laughs> benefit of the doubt we're cutting them off cutting them off i would give a dude a benefit of the doubt for a little bit but then i i, I would bail like a little bit right. meaning two weeks i would mm -hmm. just bail like cut off communication or just you know okay you're a friend right i'll friend zone you you're not going to put in efforts like yeah. why would anybody stay in this and i tell people i use the two week rule for anything bad that goes on in your life whether no matter what it is Always putting your phone, your calendar. Two weeks from now, nothing that feels really bad right now will feel as bad. And if you keep marking your calendar for two weeks, all of a sudden it's three months and you're like, wow, I made it out of that. Right. And then it's six. So don't put up with this stuff. Self-love is everything. Sure. I learned it at 47. Don't wait that long. Right. And I hope that I can help younger girls and guys or someone out there my age to learn it because I am alone and yes that can be lonely but i'm really happy and this week i had like a clarity of like i'm really at peace with myself and i and i actually feel like i'm ready to like really get out there and date again well that was and my want next, that yeah that was my next question was is how in all of this in all of these things how do you give somebody a chance with all of these things let me tell you you can't control you can't control other people, right? You can't mm -hmm. control, you will never know if someone's gonna cheat on you or not. Right. You, you can try and you're just gonna drive yourself crazy. You don't know, you can't be with someone. You can't control the, if somebody's telling you the truth or not. Mm -hmm. So you give your trust. What you do know is you'll always be okay. Sure. And if you care about you first, yeah. and you learn that, like really learn it guys, not just, I'll be fine. No, no, no. You'll always be okay. Mm -hmm. So you do give people the chance, but also don't sit around. I just, you, when you're in situationships and I understand what a situationship is and your time is, ha you know, you're in a situationship. Listen, your gut, ladies and gentlemen, is always going to tell you. Sure. My gut told me many times I didn't listen to my gut very well in things in the past or, you know, yada, yada. So, you know, and it's like when you're giving that emotional energy to that person banging them but you're you're emotionally connected you are not open to anything else so now you're stuck this right. is just a vicious cycle and before you know it no i don't care how old you are you've wasted your time you ever been in love you said yes. you said the words i love you to a hundred people have you ever been truly in love with somebody else what do, all right so i, 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 I gotta me, put for me i gotta put the ball back in your corner yeah, one time for me one time. What do you mean by in love? So, like that, that nothing else mattered around me. Like I, there was other hot girls that would either message or because you know at the time I was, I was yeah, really quick. We got a call. Oh. Oh, oh no. I'm like, okay. Uh, hey, this is a, a tribe called Jess. Who's this? This is Dominique. Dominique, Hi, Dominique. Hey, Dominique you got to turn your radio down or turn your computer down on. Can you hear me, All right, Dominique? Can you hear me now? Yeah, as long as you've at least as long as you've got everything turned down and you're just listening to us through the phone. You got us, Dominique? I can't where, hear you. Dominique, can yeah. you hear me? Where are you from? I'm from Mat uh, Manassas. Oh, okay. Hi, Dominique. What's what what are you calling Hi. about? Him? Hi. What's been going on? Um, nothing, just hanging out. I just wanted to say that, you know, Jess is a really good girl. I like her shirt. It's <laughs> <my> <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> I've had this shirt for like 15 years. Thank you so much, Dominique. Dominique, have you ever been in love? Oh. Yeah. How'd it turn How'd out? It go? Are, are, you, are you still in love? I am in love. Yes. Oh, you that's are. Awesome. That's yep. awesome. How old are you? Are you? Are you? How long have you been in a relationship? Um, I just started a relationship. A month ago. You did. Oh, and you're in love. 
What, yeah. may, what how do wow. you know I'm just curious Dominique and I mean this with all respect how do you know that you're in love what makes you feel that I'm curious because I'm single and <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I trust myself <laughs> um so honestly the way that we met was just really crazy like I went to go get my degree um and we just met and the way that things have been just clicking is just amazing um yeah I just yeah you know, just taking it day by day, but. And he treats you really well. I hope he better. Can she hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, as long as he treats you all right. As Dominique, long as he treats yeah. you good. Dominique, thanks for calling the show. You give us a call Thank back. Thank you, anytime, Dominique. Okay? Please call back again. All right, there's of course. All right, there's Dominique Aww, from Manassas. Thank, thank you, you very much, Dominique. So my one time, Aww. one time, I've been in love. I, lo I want to shout out girls. Hold on yeah. real quick. Girls that are nice to other girls. Women, we only got each other and we're so mean to each other sometimes. <laughs> Please be nice to other women. Even if you don't like them, just smile and walk on. No right. need to trash talk. I love you, Dominique. Thank you. That was a good call. So yeah, anyway, my one time, but when I fall in love with somebody, I am 1,000% into them. It does not matter. I, I will not stray. I will not look. I will not pay attention to anybody else. You, I am focused 1,000% on you. Like, I will take you everywhere, buy you everything, do everything for you. That, that you are my purpose. I said this on the last show when I'm there and, the, and when I've had serious relationships with people, I'm all the way there. Yeah. Like, and same, that, and that's same thing. A hundred percent. Okay. With, I wasn't sure if you would ever both my been... long relationships. Okay. okay, good. My ex-husband and my ex-boyfriend. Okay, good. That I would consider really substantial long relationships. Okay, good. Um, that's not a situation or no, a, that was, a, um, I've had situationships, situationship. <laughs> where I, that's what I mean. I know I've grown because I definitely had them. It wasn't defined like that then. And now right. I'm like, I was an idiot. <laughs> yeah. I was in a lot but, of those, but you know, that shows growth here nor there. Um, yeah, I've been in love. Uh, yeah, but I don't think I've had the relationship of a lifetime that I want. So yeah, people are like, I'm still looking. People are like, what do you want? You want a fairy tale or something? And I'm like, no, I want my fairy tale. Yeah. My fairy tale doesn't lot look like Cinderella and a prince and all that. My fairy yeah. tale looks like missing a shoe, having a <laughs> not wearing Crocs and having yeah. great sneak no and a hat to the backwards, <laughs> having sex yeah. all the time. No. But I mean, my fairy tale just looks like somebody who just gets me and lets me be, and I let them be them. And like sleep in your jammies, sleep in my jammies. I'll sleep on. naked for them, maybe All because right. I'm so there in love. Go. See, that's what I'm talking about, right there. <laughs> I'll always dress up for a guy, right? In bed. If he wants me to do that, right. I'm all in. Cool. I'm all in. We all have right. a minute. <laughs> um, you know, create a safe space to tell my story, and and I hope that I, I feel like with men I've been in a long relationship with, I've created a safe space for them to always be able to tell their story. And I think men that I think if women out there listening, I think it's really important to do that or any partners. I mean, doesn't this isn't just about men and women? Any any partners is creating that safe space for each other to tell the hard stuff. The hard stuff is not easy to talk about, but it is essential to who we become and who we are. And I think it's really important. I think I've done that. Why are you looking at me? I'm, See, I'm, I'm being I'm vulnerable. Just, I'm just and listening. This is luck. <laughs> I am just listening to you. I, you know, yeah. we're getting honest uh, answers, and I think that's great. Yeah, it's important to me. I don't think you tune tune into other radio programs and get the honesty. That you get here, I, you know, no. like I've been on so I, well, many I, radio shows. Well, thank you shows. for saying that because you we would to, know I don't know. But see, the, the other radio shows, you just don't get it. It doesn't matter if it's another podcast and people are trying to, what are you doing? And they're trying to be funny. But listen, that's honest stuff, right? We're talking about honest things that happen in your life here. But that's, and that goes back to the beginning of the show where it really is. The, ow. So, I'm hearing the music. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Jeff. <laughs> He's such an asshole. He's playing. I know. So I to talk over. Yeah. Go ahead, Jess. Go ahead. <laughs> I can't. All I right. can't do two hey, things. Hey, but listen, one. next week, I don't know what day we're going to be. Thursday or Friday, right? I'm good either. Okay. Thursday or Friday. I have to Friday see my week. grandparents. Thursday, but, um, Thursday or Friday next week. Make sure you tune in. It'll probably be 8 o'clock the same time. Make sure you give us a shout. 855-77-WILD is the phone number. If you guys want to give Jess and I a phone call here and give us a shout about whatever <laughs> we got going on. But next week, make sure you tune in. Yeah, I, well, definitely tune in. Definitely call in. 
we want you to call in because I like talking in real time sure. and maybe we can have some laughs and talk some sex and be crazy, <laughs> but also help people along the way since Jeff, God forbid we help somebody. <laughs> we can't have that. Playing your sappy ass music because I'm being raw and honest and beat him anyway. But yes, thanks for tuning into A Tribe Called Jess. I'm so happy you came in to listen. Take care. Later. Good night, everybody.